to Draw and Tell Storytime with Saskatoon Public Library. My name is Claire and I'm here with you on Treaty 6 Territory today. Traditional home land of the Métis, our people have gathered to share and tell stories for thousands of years. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am here alone in my space so I feel safe to take my mask off so you can hear and see me better. Our story today is Katie and the Giant, originally told by Richard Thompson. And it begins with three mountains. There was a tall one, and another tall mountain next to the first, and then a not so tall mountain right next to that mountain. And there's our three mountains. Katie lived in a cave near the bottom of the third mountain. There's our cave. And Jason lived on the mountain next door. Jason was a giant with legs as big as trees and shoulders as big as boulders. Jason got such big shoulders by, you guessed it, lifting and throwing boulders. Every morning for two hours, Jason would lift up these big rocks, these big boulders, lift them up over his head and throw them down over and over, lifting and throwing. And the boulders would come crashing down the mountainside, shaking the ground for miles and miles around. One morning, the noise from one of Jason's boulders woke Katie up and shook her right out of her bed. Hmm, not a good way to start the day. But Katie bravely went on with her day, ignoring Jason the Giant's game. She had just gone outside to her garden to play when... Womp! A giant boulder landed right next to her. <gasps> Katie was angry. She rushed to the bottom of Jason's mountain. She yelled up at him, You stop throwing those big rocks right now! The giant looked down at Katie and said, Har, har, har! Who's gonna make me? Well, Katie didn't really have an answer to that question. So she went and she packed up all her belongings, all her things, and she decided to move to another cave on the other side of the mountain. <sighs> now I'll be safe from flying boulders, Katie thought. And for a while, she was. But Jason got stronger every single day until one day he, when he picked up his boulder and threw it over his head, it went sailing right over Katie's mountain. And on that same day, Katie was outside playing with her friend Jeremy when crash! The boulder landed right between them. <gasps> Would you be scared? Katie was. She rushed around the boulder to check on Jeremy, and thank goodness Jeremy was okay. But she was mad. She was so angry. She rushed up over her mountain, down the side, and up all the way to Jason's mountain. And she said to him, you just about hit my friend with your boulder, she yelled. You better stop throwing things right now. <laughs> or what? Said Jason the Giant. Or Katie was so mad, all she could do was stomp her feet really loud and yell, I am telling you, just stop. Well, suddenly, the mountain, Katie's mountain, began to shake. And it shook and it shook and Katie fell flat on her back. 
and suddenly the mountain top of Katie's mountain flew right off. And Katie looked in amazement and Jason looked in amazement and lava and steam and smoke started pouring out from the top of Katie's mountain. Now, I don't know if it was Katie stomping her feet and yelling that caused that volcano to blow, but Jason thought that it was. He took one look at that mountain and he said, if she can do that just by stomping and yelling, I'm out of here. And he ran down the mountain and he ran up the side of the other tall mountain and he ran down the side of the tall mountain and he ran around and around and around until he was out of sight. He was lost. Katie couldn't see him anymore. Well, Katie picked herself up off the ground. She dusted herself off. Have you guessed what kind of creature Katie might be? If you guessed a mouse, you would be right. Katie said to herself, hmm, not bad for a mouse. Not bad at all. And that is the story of Katie and the giant. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.